Todd, who managed to take out both Joshathan and Tejuice, if I remember correctly. And that's yeah, who actually we're seeing Gamer? right now going off against Zane. What was that? You talking Joshathan Gamer? Joshathan the Gamer. All right. Gamers so, rise up. But, you know, Slingshot not tonight, versus Zane. DQ'd. Um, I was doing a little bit of research on Slingshot. Um, Slingshot appears to be primarily a Joker player. Um, not sure what the region is, but um, the, it's it's primarily a Joker player. But it's not like a hard primarily. It's like it's it's uh, 373 games versus 286. So it's it's almost like co-main status, but it is a little bit tilted. So to that end, it is a little bit maybe surprising to see the Diddy Kong. Um, it's been, it's been looks like been looking like mostly solo Diddy. Yeah, no, I mean, tonight the Diddy has been putting in work already. I mean, we didn't see uh, him versus Josh Chiffin because that mm -hmm. was off stream, but um, I think he should be more than confident in his ability and put the character right now. That being mm -hmm. said, Duck Hunt is weird, and Zane is a really solid player with this character, and if you are not familiar with the matchup, oh boy, nothing makes sense. Yeah. Um... I mean, if you get this deep into a Xeno Wi-Fi bracket, um, you're going to learn the Duck Hunt matchup sooner or later. Uh, because you're going to run into this player. Um, Zane, uh, one of the real mainstays uh, here in NYC. Um, and, um, but having a bit of an issue putting this monkey away right now. Yeah, and I mean, that can be one of the issues with the character. That... Just when you're in neutral, if your opponent makes a tiny mistake, it's not so easy to be like, aha, and now you are dead. You know, right. Duck Hunt can kill, but it requires setups. Oh, wow. right oh he's a leaving. That's okay. That's, 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 that's just Diddy Kong, though. Like, Diddy Kong never does what you want him to do, except that. Um, <laughs> but, like, he's, 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 he's just a little bit harder to combo than you would like. He's a little bit harder to kill than you would like. He's just, like, a little bit floatier than you would like. He's a little bit, like... You know, it's it never it's nothing's ever simple with this character. It's, it, it's like with Goldilocks, and you're just like this character you, is too floaty. He's a, this yeah, character that's a is word. too small. That's a perfect word. He's a Goldilocks character. Uh, for like the opposite of what you want. Right, reverse reverse Goldilocks. Which this is character a term is that will be immediately wrong. obvious for anybody who listens to it. We are good at coining phrases. Um, meanwhile. Zane is good at getting damage here and safe damage nonetheless. Yeah. Oh, 95%. Well, the thing is that the first stock also went really well for Zane at the start. But by mm. the end, the deficit ended up... It, I mean, it was enough that uh, Slingshot managed to just answer back immediately once the stock was taken. Wow! Threading yeah, the nice. needle! That's a, that's a really high degree of difficulty on the recovery. Um... But uh, Zane, Zane doing what they do best, uh, setting up the cans, setting up the, like, putting all of the assists out on the screen. Um, we are playing Ultimate Super Smash Brothers uh, versus Capcom versus Marvel 3, <laughs> Tournament Edition. Yeah, and I mean, one thing about this is... Oh, Ooh, nice little confirm there into the can. I, that's... I feel like I've seen can into into forward air, and now we've seen forward air into can. So uh, really using using the every using the full utility of the moveset here is Zane, yeah. which is what you come to expect. Yeah, um, no, they have such good awareness of every and considering how many resources Duck Hunt has on screen at right. any given time, being able to keep track of all of them is really impressive. Yeah, and and only now. You see uh, uh, Slingshot be able to get Zane over a hundred. That was that was, that it that damage took, really took a long time to get there. But to Slingshot's credit, when they got Zane to kill percent, capitalized immediately. Got to the up smash. Got to last stock. Yeah, Diddy Kong can struggle to kill, but these are not these stocks are not being dragged out longer than they have any need to be for Slingshot. And oh, are are you getting a little bit of a lag spike here as well, or is that just me? Um, I'm I'm look I'm sitting right. I'm sitting mostly pretty here. Okay, so well, yes. I mean that's that's pretty is subjective, but um. Oh, Aww. thank you. On I hope I hope the stream could hear that, Devin. They couldn't. Okay. <laughs> well, Devin, <laughs> Devin, Devin, Devin's being really Devin. P 
people. He's only. He's if only anyone ever tells you that Devin doesn't have game, they are flat out lying to your face. Well, I mean, um, he might have game, but it's the sort of like, why don't you act like this when there are other people around? Mm. Only when Devin cannot be heard does he, he is he this sweet. Devin's Devin's not Devin doesn't do it to perform though. He's he he does it for the right reasons. Meanwhile, yeah. <laughs> oh oh. Slingshot went for the gusto. Oh. Uh, the the offstage barrel shenanigans. I like the idea oh. behind that, but he's off stage right now, and all of that is because he tried to do the barrel edge guard. That's true. Yeah. Uh, like you, you better have a plan to get back if you're gonna go off stage against Duck Hunt. Oh, that's big! Mm, Not enough yep. to get the kill, but that's a lot of damage to the point where now Up Smash is a threat from any point on stage. The fact that Up Smash doesn't have to worry about if you're in the corner or anything like that. A single oh. mistake does it in for him. That was such a nice little jump cancel Up Smash. Gets the slide. Gets uh, gets Zane trapped on that platform. And uh, gets a like, gets uh, gets a win in a game where um, there was a lot of that game that was going Zane's way. You have like especially second stock, Zane was really really in control, getting the damage, getting the safe damage, and not taking damage in return. Which begs the question: What changed towards the end of that game where uh, Slingshot was really able to start and ride this wave of momentum? and uh, look to carry it into game two. A big part of it is he just did not die. It felt like he was slowly getting more and more even in the neutral, being able to handle things. And by the end there, he was at 140. He was still down that entire stock. But the fact that at that point, Zane was not able to actually seal the deal. I mean, Goldilocks as soon as- Goldilocks character, like, bro. Yeah. Never, never, ever does what you want. Just a little bit too hard, too hard to handle. So now, what, I'm wondering what Zane needs to do here to tap in to the magic that they, uh, they clearly had access to in the middle of game number one, where they were just completely con controlling the state of play, uh, making, forcing Slingshot to do what they wanted. Um... I'm interested to see what Zane is going to do to try and, like, really lock all windows and doors. Now, now, one thing that Zane was doing was nullifying Banana, throwing out mm. cannon, keeping it, hovering it at this height that would just neutralize Banana. But as we can see, we've s seen the change of Banana trajectories from Slingshot. You know, already he's, uh, he's like, going for, like, a full hop and then throwing the Banana on the way down. Oh, oh, that's really big. Not enough to do it just yet, but he cannot survive another one of those. And oh, can blocks the banana, but at what cost? <laughs> I mean, I like oh, now whatever. trading, trading some little pokes here. Uh, slingshot coming out on top. This is a long first stock once again. And now it's uh, it's it's slingshot really with the initiative, taking the first stock, and um, it's it feels like these sorts of hills where you have your opponent at 120, like that 120 to 150 range, these sorts of hills are a lot easier for Diddy Kong to overcome than they are for for Duck Hunt. And that's just how it that, yeah. that's just how it's looking right now. We haven't really seen any of the crazy like up air confirms, anything like an up smash out of shield from from Duck Hunt. And I'm, I'm not even sure how much of that how much that's a thing, but um, we haven't seen a lot of like the later percent kill power that really is going to make slingshot not play like aggressively here. See, the thing is though, I like Zane's approach here. Instead of being like, I need to figure out how to get the kill, they're just like, I'm just not gonna get hit. Yeah. They've only taken oh seven. Oh my god! <laughs> how did you dodge that can? Goldilocks character, bro. That hit that like that's I swear to I swear to everything that that is a Diddy Kong exclusive hurtbox ship <laughs> that like only Diddy Kong can get out of that can. Yeah, it's. I, I feel like let's let's qualify it better. It's like Nega Goldilocks. Oh, oh my God. We're, we're we're establishing the the Goldilocks measuring scale. It's well it's because because Diddy Kong is never what you want. They're mm -hmm. all. It's he's always wrong. It's Nega Goldilocks. Mmm. I like where your head's at, salty. 
Thank you. I, I have a... I'm glad you understand me. I don't know if I understand me. But anyway, let's get... Getting back to this game, we finally have that stock deficit being evened up. And the fact oh. that Zane had taken almost no damage that entire stock, I think means that they're starting to figure out the neutral just a little bit better. And definitely that's the case we're seeing right now. 99%. That was almost unansered. And now oh, 110. Wow. If, he can, if, if they can take this stock right now, that's that could be massive. One thing I'm seeing a lot of here from uh, from Zane is that when you're playing against Diddy Kong, you need to really have a feel, like you really need to have a feel for your opponent's uh, monkey flips tendencies and, 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 and like where they like to do it and when they like to do it. Um, Zane is starting to catch on to those habits and utilizing one of Duck Hunt's absolute best tools for punishing high monkey flips especially, which is the up air. Um, that up air is a terror against Diddy Kong doing a high monkey flip because it covers a pretty, like, a, like it's got active frames and it's got a pretty good hitbox oh. range as well. I, again. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I'm not, I'm not going to equally pop off because that was kind of like a, like a stock, stock standard wave bounce, but um, even still, there are some characters can't do that. Yeah. I mean, that was honestly just really good oh, play on the, the, the no homie banana. Oh, this could be really dangerous. Oh, this micro spacing, but not actually able to get the punish. Is that going to be it? it no, just wow, shy. That, that was a liar. That was a liar of a kill screen. Oh, no. I, I believe that one or two more percent and that probably would have been it. Interesting. Oh, and there, okay, you see again, Zane had the read, but Slingshot went a little bit higher and was able to and was able to reposition over to the other side of the stage. Um, and like that, that affords Slingshot a little bit more time to get a banana and to kind of, you know, figure oh. out what play they want to go for here. Uh, the getup from Zane able to uh, dodge that F smash, uh, living on borrowed time here, it feels like. It's, I mean, it's hard to say. Right now, Slingshot is really looking for a banana confirm. He's, every mm. time he gets the chance, he's pulling banana, and then he's just sort of trying to find the hole in this wave of projectiles. And as we're seeing right now, Zane just not giving it to him, and slowly oh, but surely, that little was a, hits that was here and there. That was a greedy double jump from Zane. Now you're stuck up there. Oh my. Oh, but you can't can. How did he get it up there? Was that an up tilt? Bana I think he threw banana up at him and the can hit back. How do you, wait, okay. I don't think that I, I am not saying that I just, that I don't believe you, but okay. I gotta see, I gotta see the replay here. Um, here comes the can. Up. Oh, it was, I thought for some reason I thought can was on the ground. No, uh, can was, he okay. actually tried to that, down air the can into him. Yeah, ooh, that was, that, that was such a gutsy play there from Slingshot. I mean, yeah, I really like the idea there. <laughs> yeah, so I really like the idea there because that's something we hadn't really seen from Zane. Just like a sort of burst, just chucking the can at high speed. But honestly, the anticipation from Slingshot, just fantastic. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be Slingshot taking game one. Uh, although that was really back and forth. That was really game two? back and forth, yeah. That was game two? Um... We talked. We talked at the beginning oh, of the set. Wow. You gotta know if you come. If you come to these streets, you better know the duck hunt matchup. Uh, Slingshot's sitting here with a 2-0 advantage over Zane, which is certainly not what I like. Certainly not the advantage. The, certainly not the magnitude of an advantage that I expected to be uh, to be looking at. Just due to the caliber of player that Zane is and how consistent Zane is. <gasps> oh, that's no jump, but. Zane doesn't quite fully capitalize on it, but mm. they might not need to at all. Being able to just do damage and do damage, and now, oh, but once the stage control has been back into uh, Slingshot's favor, immediately dishing out 46% with some quick combos. Right, and now the, when the pace of the game slows down, it almost seems like that favors Slingshot. Um, um well, because, because Slingshot is, is doing such a good job at managing um, the the resources that Zane is throwing out onto the screen, and if those resources aren't getting anything done, 
Uh, I mean, Diddy Kong isn't doing much from afar either, but um, it's it's a zero-sum game. Oh no! Okay, so many explosions. Okay. And now slingshot with the grab. Yeah, that could be really big. Trapped at the ledge, but a cam might help Ooh, him. What the oh. <laughs> That was so sneaky, but Slingshot anticipating Whoa. it. Then he goes in, actually gets that hit. But an immediate answer. That... No chance to really build a lead of any kind. We now have these two neck and neck absolutely tied here. Oh. That stock cleanup was huge from Zane. You cannot, like, that... How many times have we seen Diddy Kong get a stock like that and then just go on a 60 to 70% tear of extra credit before you can actually put him away? Because he's a Goldilocks character. Um... And so getting that getting that immediate stock uh, like e equalizer is really really huge, especially for a character like Duck Hunt, which which can really um, like at these later percents we've said we've said already the set can struggle to uh, like kind of put put the stocks away. Yeah, and ooh, I will say so we've we've had a uh, a lot of hits coming out from mm. a slingshot in the past few minutes, but they've been mostly kind of weaker hits. So even though he's gotten all these combos, they're still tied in percent. Yeah. And, oh, this could be massive. Once again, ledge trapping, but gets right Oh, past wow, them. the raw. That raw smash, he's like, you're gonna land here. Zane was having none of it, though. Oh, gets a hit with <gasps> the gunman. Oh, what a turn snipe, but the DI is there from slingshot. Yeah, fantastic reaction to get that DI. And now, so the things that up smash isn't quite a factor yet. So definitely just like one more combo is all that slingshot needs. And then he can start really Ooh. threatening an actual kill. And that was, oh, oh my God, it's again. Don't get hit by the bills. There okay, go. <laughs> okay, okay. Crisis averted. Yeah, if, if, if Slingshot was from New Jersey, I guarantee you those barrels would have hit. <laughs> New Jersey Diddy Kongs are straight up different with barrels. Okay, a little bit of a snipe with that banana. Not able to quite get the stock, though. Looking for the up smash, but... Oh, the oh, down tilt catches the banana. Hand. That was huge. Um, Zane really wants to make the most of this resource here, except won't get the chance. Uh, gets that down tilt up smash. Yeah. You know, banana, it's when the opponent uh, grabs banana for Diddy Kong, it can be really scary, but at the same time, if the opponent doesn't isn't an expert at using the banana, it does limit their options, technically. And if Diddy Kong is able to play around that, carrying the banana against Diddy Kong might actually prove to be a disadvantage. Oh, homie gunman. Coming out huge. Um Now this is another really, really even situation. Um you figure that Zane needs, like, if, if they're going to get these kills honestly, with, like, you know, the, the strong kill moves, if you figure that Zane needs a little bit more damage than Slingshot might need. Um, so this is a pretty good uh, trend right now for Zane. Oh, but that's a bad response. That's a really, that's an even better response from Slingshot. Oh. Kicking through the gunman and then getting the can right back into Zane's face. Are they're completely tied here and this is yep. the point where slingshot is basically looking for that one managing to thread the banana between all of these projectiles you see him being at that position but the yep. actual gunman oh. blocks it the, okay. the banana pressure that was a super scary jump by the way um the, these platforms Whoa. and any short hops near slingshot's shield you better have like you better have a good idea for what you're gonna do with that Whoa. he blew himself up that could be really bad. No banana in hand. Okay, <laughs> okay a so little bit, a little bit of shield panic there. Yeah, slingshot has been rolling out of shield actually pretty consistently. If Zane picks up on that, that could mean the <gasps> Whoa, end. Oh, big gunman! And now, now Zane, Zane, I think has the damage they need. Both of them definitely have the damage oh, they need. For sure. Oh, oh, yeah, next hit. <gasps> oh, but just a wait. Who Okay, Zane there's in, there's taking in. it by just a, a the thinnest of hairs. They almost had the double KO off the top, but being at a higher percent, the better DI was not able to help out uh, Slingshot from avoiding dying first. That was I. That was actually that was actually. I was afraid to game. say something because like I had no idea. Like I, my my brain was not processing it fast enough to get the words out of my mouth. I think that I think that partially comes down to percent diff. 
Um, because that it, was really it like, does. Yeah. Uh, the, and and that's just like the hard work that Zayn did when it was like 110 to 110. Zayn put in that extra mile to get that damage, and it paid off right there on that trade. Yeah. No. So this that was, I see Devin throwing up that replay. If we can actually get another look at that, that's been one of the the trends of the game is finding a way to get the banana through all of these projectiles. Mm -hmm. Right there, Zayn put the can up pretty high. I guess trying to maybe beat out like you know a, a high um attack or something like that but without the can he just timed it in between and managed to get the kill so at the effective walling like you know zane is always going to have you know a, an entire cavalcade of projectiles but they need to be positioned in a way that will actually neutralize the banana because it doesn't matter how many projectiles you have if the banana just like matrix dodges past all of them right and ends up dodge you know, this yeah um Ready? now so that you you bring up a good point about um how like how like who like if projectiles trade if like if if diddy kong projectiles trade with duck Kong projectiles who does that benefit i and i'm not sure how to answer that because i think that i think that banana is more critical like, i think that banana is more critical for diddy kong than any one tool that uh, Duck Hunt has even can, um, and also that's not like that's maybe not a uh, well. It's hard. It's re it's really hard to say because there's so many different inter interactions that you can get. Yeah, one thing about banana, oh sorry, can versus banana is that can the flexibility of it, the fact that they're the 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 way that it can be manipulated in so many ways. Right, uh, is really going to be important now. One thing that we were talking about before was the can being used to neutralize the banana. But with that top platform there, it might actually... I feel like the can might get caught on it at some really inopportune times if you're Zane. Yeah, no, now, now um, you, you, we can see your point. Uh, you, uh, we can see an example of that right there. Because you can't get that can down into that lower end. And if that can's on the platform... Slingshot might be content to just camp under there, uh, camp under the platform, hold center stage, and kind of force the issue from Zane. Yeah, or I mean, can on that platform can be really scary because it's a very like Zane can just throw him into it and get all sorts of really good damage. But, right. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> stage backfiring a little bit on uh, yeah on Slingshot right there. The extra height of that platform up air actually connects for the kill. Now we have just a massive, massive lead for Zane. That is a huge, like that KO is potentially like a, like that's like a comeback starting KO or like, like that's, that's, that's a set altering KO if Zane can get a lot of extra credit here or even like a, like a decent amount of extra credit. He had a 50, per, he had a stock, he had his first stock at, uh, or Zane had their first stock at 50%. Um, you're hoping to get more than 50% on your opponent before you uh, before this uh, first stock kicks the bucket because think about the situation This is game four if you can make a commanding statement here in game four and like, you know Capitalize on that game uh, on that first stock lead and go into game five with momentum. This is a completely different set. This set was Slingshot up 2-0, but it is a lot more even than that. Yeah, well, the thing is, like, every game was so even. And even now, despite right. that huge, huge lead for Zane, it's not quite evened out just yet. But with this stage positioning and these combos, it might Ooh. be just another moment. That forward, you never hit Diddy Kong out of combos. Perhaps he was... And, and, and like, and Duck Hunt? Defensive. I don't think so. Oh, big banana catch, but cost the air dodge? Zane able to get back on stage right. and uses the gunman to cover the approach back to the center stage. It's, 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 it's just really, really nice positional play from Zane. Yeah. Now, one thing about Duck Hunt with a banana in hand. Oh, oh no. Oh, what, what an educated can placement there from Zane. Um, it, that was that was that was almost like a can cross up. Like, is it gonna land on the ledge or is it gonna land behind? I don't know if Slingshot was. It, it, it didn't seem like Slingshot was ready for that tech. Also, I believe Slingshot had not spent that much time off stage, meaning the invincibility ran out really quickly. True, true. I don't think they were in. I don't think he was anticipating that either. Right. 
And, and the, the 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 next thing I was gonna the next thing I was gonna say before that KO happened is like Zayn got a huge lead uh, from a first uh, from from getting the first KO. The bare minimum is that you have to have a stock lead, or, or, or like you 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 cannot you have to hold that lead in stocks as as long as you can. Thirty four percent on last stock is is not as much as you would like, but it's better than being at a deficit starting last stock because it means that you like at least held serve. For the most of this game yeah oh that back here actually landing now we have the situation of zayn being trapped at the corner we for the most part uh oh, sorry Ooh, that matter. was a, zayn was ready for that roll there's a big clay pigeon there's another one. Oh, oh but i don't know how he got out of that but it didn't matter he gets caught yeah. by the grab soon after Okay, big damage possibly. Oh no, he gets intercepted by the can. Look at the Swing damage shot. Lead, by the way. That's On 80%. The... This is 100% lead for Zane. This is like this uh, is as winnable of a last stock situation as I think we've seen it for any uh, uh, in any game this set. Don't forget game 1 also had a really big advantage that ended true, up disappearing. True, true, true. So, the thing is if 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 Slingshot doesn't die here, <gasps> all the percent is for naught, but true. Oh, oh I think that was a trip to the back air. Yep. Um, and, and, okay, Zane got the, got the early KO, maybe, maybe caught Slingshot, you know, uh, you know what, that was like, that was like a calculated risk, the second KO for Zane there, with, with the can on the ledge, that was like a calculated, I don't think you can send that can in there with, with the, with the full knowledge that, that, that the can's gonna hit, um, but either way, however, however you cut it, um, we have a game five. We have a game five, which um, is, I think, a well-deserved game five for how back and forth the set has been. Oh, yeah. But now this is what it all comes down to. Do you think we're going to see Smashville again? Because there, I do think that there were some real advantages that stage gave to Slingshot, you know, specifically against Can for the most part. Uh, but he did lose there. Do you think, we, do you think he's going to go back or maybe a stage we haven't i mean for the most part we've been we haven't seen any kalos tonight uh, that's true um FD i don't think either. wow i don't i don't think that the i don't think the loss there in game four i don't think slingshot's loss in game four had a lot to do with like it, i don't think it was hard due to the stage um like think oh but Maybe, uh, maybe Slingshot, maybe Slingshot thinks differently, or maybe they wanted PS2 the whole time because we are here for Game Five. I mean, I do agree with this because the first two games he won were on PS2, if I'm, if I'm remembering correctly. Mm. So, may, it could just be that you know, stick with what works. Again, even the game that uh, he lost was very even. So. And now, I, once again, I'm gonna call back to the uh, the first thing that we really said about this set, which is um, this is a real test of if you know the Duck Hunt matchup, um, and not just the Duck Hunt matchup, because but also the Zane matchup, because Zane brings a whole mess of creativity to the table with can setups and like creative and, and uh, uh, clay pigeon combos and, and all that jazz. Um, so this is like really the final test is can you win a pivotal game five against uh, a character like uh, a character Ooh. like Zane? Zane goes up again they, and finds that high up air. Wait, uh, that, that was Slingshot, I think, also tried to go up there for the up air, but it didn't connect. Ooh. That was, that was... <laughs> That and was now, really tricky, but it's massive, massive for Zane. Oh, oh wow, but it's a, going just like that. That's an equally massive banana confirm. Um, and and leading up to that, I think you, I think we saw a lot of Slingshot returning to what they had the most success in in games one and two, which is slowing the pace of the game down and just trying to filter through the data they have observed and try and uh, like just choose the best strategy. And use the time that they're giving themselves and that Zane is willing to give them as well. Now, one thing that 
it seems that Slingshot is doing on this stage, as opposed to on Smashville, is oh, big confirm. Oh, first of all, big confirm like that. Wow. Was that some questionable DI, or was he just gone? Was he just done at that point? That's a, that's a really that's a good question because that's a tr that's a tricky move to DI correctly, because it comes out so fast and it pokes so far, and you're already DIing out probably to get out of the combo. Yeah. So that's a, that's definitely a situation in which you can get caught. But it's I think it's within the margin of error where those things can just happen. And <laughs> capitalizing on that, Zane is in such a fantastic position right now. There's oh. the same exact confirm again. Uh, Zane uh, DIs as well as they possibly can, but that's another KO for Slingshot. It's exact same way. Uh, Zane, you have to think that Zane's going to have that uh, those bananas completely scattered out when they're at the when they're at the ledge, or at least be looking out for yeah. them. Yeah, it's the sort of thing where Slingshot knows his win condition. He knows mm. that he needs to find that one banana at this percent and get a forward smash. Otherwise, the, the lead will just become insurmountable. But right now, <laughs> tries to catch another one of those monkey flips, but not quite. Oh, man, they're just rolling around I'm each right? other. They're just the butting, it, they're butting heads. Um, but this is Zane. Oh, that's the first time that I think we've... I don't, that might be the first, like, smash attack period we've seen from Zayn this entire set. The discipline is Zayn. Oh. There's the second, and that's going to be enough to take the set. Zayn pulling it out with a reverse 3-0 over Slingshot. Yeah, Slingshot wow. had a fantastic Welcome run in Welcome to Top 8. Yeah, had a fantastic run in winners, but... uh. <laughs> He's going to have to be fighting his way through losers now as Zayn moves on, guaranteed third place as he's in winner's finals. And seeing that replay right now, I love those kinds of plays where a player, like, I th I'm i willing to bet Zayn had that read on that walk-in from... Because Diddy Kong, in that situation, they're walking in, they want a down tilt. They want down tilt, down tilt, they, they, or, or, or grab something, like... That's what that walk-in is. I have, I would, I would totally believe Zayna had that walk-in scouted out over a game ago, and was waiting to punish that with the with the F smash until that moment. I love seeing players hold their cards so close to the chest until the very, very moment when it can win you a game five set to send you to winners finals.